Hello everyone, welcome back to my another tutorial. Since the beginning of this reinforcement learning tutorial series, I have covered two different reinforcement learning tutorials. I mean methods, value-based method, cool learning, deep cool learning, and etc. And policy-based method, reinforced with policy grid, and this was my previous tutorial. Both of these methods have a big drawback. That's why I'll try another type of reinforcement learning method called actor critic. This algorithm combines the value optimization and policy optimization approaches. More specifically, the actor critic combines the Q-learning and policy gradient algorithms. At a high level, the resulting algorithm involves a loop that alternates between actor and critic. Here is an image I can show you. And actor here is policy gradient algorithm that decides on an action to take, and the critic is a Q-learning algorithm that critics the action that the actor selected, providing the feedback on how to adjust it. It can take advantage or efficiency trick in Q-learning such as memory replay, as you saw in my previous tutorials. The advantage of the actor-critic algorithm is that it can solve broader range of problems than deep Q network, while it has slower variance in performance relative to reinforce. That said, because of the presence of the policy gradient algorithm within it, the actor-critic is still sample inefficient. So the problem with policy gradient is uh, that in my previous tutorial you saw I derived policy gradient and implemented the reinforce algorithm, also known as Monte Carlo policy gradients. There are, however, some issues with Manila policy gradients. That's a noisy gradients and a high variance. As in the reinforce algorithm, we update the policy parameter through Monte Carlo updates. An example, taking random samples. This introduces in in inherent high variance in log probabilities and cumulative reward values because each trajectory during training can deviate from each other at a great degree. Consequently, the high variability in log probabilities and cumulative reward values will make noisy gradients and cause unstable learning or the policy distribution skewing to a non-optimal direction. One way to reduce the variance and increase stability is subtracting the cumulative reward by a critic value, intuitively making the cumulative reward smaller by subtracting it with the critic value and it will make smaller gradients and two smaller and more stable updates. So here is a simple Image example how actor critic work. Imagine you play a video game with a friend that provides you some feedback. You are the actor and your friend is the critic. At the beginning, you don't know how to play, so you try some actions randomly. The critic observes your action and provides a feedback. As we know, the Q value can be learned by parameterizing the Q function with a neural network. This leads us to an actor-critic method where the critic estimates the value function, this one. And this could be the action value or state value. The critics the action that the actor selected, providing the feedback on how to adjust. It can take advantage or efficiency tricks in Q-learning such as memory replay. We simply update both the critic network and the value network at each update step. So, using the value function as the baseline function, we subtract the q-value term with the value. Intuitively, this means how much better it is to take a specific action compared to average, general action at a given state. This is so-called the advantage actor critic. In code, it will look much simpler, you will see. So, right now, I'll go to code because who wants to listen theory for quite a long time so I will just copy my previous tutorial code and I will call it advantage actor critic so I will do the same as before 
I'll modify my previous tutorial code, but now it will be much faster to do that. And because we already did uh, the hard work in previous tutorial. So right now I will just need to add a critic to our same policy gradient code. So before we here had an action, so right now we'll need a value. So it's much simpler. We need uh, one layer dense, one dense layer with one neuron. And activation will be well, we don't need an activation, it will be linear activation, and I will use the same kernel initializer. And one more thing we need to do is that we need a critic to compile a critic model. So I'll just copy, this will be much faster for me, just like that. I can zoom it for you and input will be the same and output will be the value and loss will be mean squared error function. So next I will simply change the class, it's not necessary but not to forget I can change it now as I said. And here it will be not false gradient but actor critic. And here it will return us a critic. It's not only an actor because I am returning critic here also. I will use same learning rate and so on. So to make it work as actor critic algorithm, we predict states without critic model to get values which we subtract from discounted rewards. This way we calculate advantages and instead of training actor with discounted rewards we use advantages and for critic network we use discounted rewards. So also I will do small modifications here. So I have here a discounted reward, yeah we'll use it also. But also I need to get a values I was talking about and it will be equal to critic predictions. And I will do a predictions from states and I already made a test so I know that I need to add this at the end because it, it need to be reshaped. In the same shape as it, these are and next I will just calculate advantages that are equal to discounted reward subtract values so next I will try just to train our network and here will be my actor I mean critic fit with states and discounted rewards and here will be advantages sample weights and this one don't need a sample weights because it's simply one layer and that's it we modified our replay function act to critic and now I will just cha change it to here where I saved this as a h5 now I will write that I am saving it as actor and I of course can do same with critic here we're critic critic but I will comment this because actually it's not necessary to save a critic only in situations where you want to where you want to train it after saving. I will just comment it and that's it. That's all we needed to do. So I'll just copy this and I'll use this. Before we were testing this, so now I'll just train this. The learning rate I can test the game 2.5. 
I will use a GPU for my testing. And that's it. I, of course, can start the training. Go to Tools and Build System. Let's see if you have any errors. Oh, yeah, we didn't run a training. So let's run. Okay, as before, self critic, no such. There is a small mistake I did. Yep, as I can see, it keeps training. Let's wait for a few steps. Well, actually, this is 10,000 steps. I can decrease it to 1,000 and train it. And of course, as before, I'll try to train a not deterministic environment and I'll try full police phone game. So as before, I just stop recording and I, when I'll come back, I will show you our results. And of course, this, this takes quite long if you don't have a GPU. It might take weeks. And for me, I don't know, it took about 24 hours to train or or 80, 48 hours, I, I can't tell you exactly. So we'll see you after training. So I'm back again, as, as you can guess, I already trained the models and I can show you the results as before. And I'll tr I started everything with long deterministic for 1000 steps and the results you can see in this following graph. And there is nothing a lot to say. It's quite similar to our policy gradient. And it it's, was quite stable and it reached our maximum score and everything is fine here. And the challenge, the biggest challenge is, is our pawn game. So as I said, it's four times faster. So it's much, much fa harder to train it. And here are the results. From the, these results, I can say that advanced uh, actor critic model played quite smoother than in policy gradient, despite that it took a little longer to reach maximum score. Game of it were much more stable than policy gradient, where we where uh where we had a lot of spikes. Then I thought, okay, we'll try to do something more in the future. This is why our Pong training graph looks much much better than a policy gradient and much more stable. But sadly, our average score couldn't get more than 11 scores per game. But keep in mind that I'm using one deep layer network, you can play around with architecture and of course you can increase the scores because larger model it will be uh, easier to train. but yeah, of course, it will take much more space on disk. For example, one model here for me take, takes about 100 megabytes. So imagine that's quite large. And of course, you want to see results probably. I can run it. Good. Here's our render. And here's our deterministic model. And it probably always will be winning. As you can see, our opponent does, can't even get a score of 1. So, probably the perfect agent I can get. And let's see our Pong model. As I said, it's much harder to, to train. And yeah, you now see that our opponent can get a score, but still we are beating it. So that's it with Actual Critic. As you can see, it's quite simple, and, and from the theory side, it looks much much uh, harder to understand than it is in practical side. Because I 
try to write a code in that way in, in a way that I need to change few lines in code simply to convert it to policy gradient from policy gradient to act advanced act critic so I will try to do the same in my next tutorial so for now to conclude this tutorial I will say that in this tutorial we implemented a hybrid between value-based algorithm and policy-based algorithm but we still face a problem here that learning for these models take a lot of time as I said it might take two days to train this simple model so in my next tutorial part I will implement at an asynchronous advanced actor critic algorithm this means that I will run for example four environments at once and we will train the same main model in theory this means we will be able to train our agent four times faster but how it will look in practical side we'll see in next tutorial so thank you all for watching i hope this will be useful for you and i will upload everything to my github and my page and I will say thank you for watching, goodbye and see you in our next tutorial.